Can this be used in real machines? Can you share the CAD? How are the monopole gears manufactured? And what about torque, strength, and gear ratios? In this video, I'll answer the most common questions about the Abenix spherical gear with quick visuals and practical references. Is this being used in actual machines? Thank you for asking. We are actively working on applying the Avenix spherical gear to real machines, and we're exploring multiple practical implementations. You can find an example of our current application-focused work in the related short video linked in the description. And one more exciting point. Because the spherical gear can be designed as a hollow structure, it may be possible to embed mechatronic systems inside. For example, sensors, cameras, wiring, or compact mechanisms without limiting the spherical motion. That could open up new possibilities for motion control, sensing, and robotics design. If you have ideas for applications, anything from robotics joints to tools, interfaces, or embedded devices, please feel free to leave a comment. We'd love to hear your suggestions. Can we use this in exoskeleton humanoid ball joint ideas? Yes, conceptually, spherical gears can be applied to joints such as exoskeleton or humanoid systems, especially where a wide motion range is valuable. Of course, feasibility depends on requirements like torque, size, safety, and durability, but the idea is definitely within the scope of applications we consider. Can you make a video on making Avenix? Thank you. There are various manufacturing processes, for example, CAD, casting as manufacturing process, and now it's assembled by manual. We've already shared several short videos showing parts of the manufacturing process and a longer video explaining the mechanism. If you're interested in how components are made and assembled, please check the links in the description and the Avenix playlist. How did you create the monopole gears? The monopole gears are fabricated using a milling machine with five active axes. A small ball and mill is used to generate the contour. Their tooth profile is designed based on contact with a virtual end mill, whose shape matches the spherical gear. For deeper technical detail, please refer to the original Avenix paper and the associated media linked in the description. Are the files on Thingiverse? Can you share CAD's TL? Thanks for your interest. We're sorry, but we can't share the CAD or STL files, and they are not available on Thingiverse because the design is protected by patents. However, one of our papers provided on the description, then we can share the principles, demonstrations, and published academic references, and we'll keep releasing explanatory content. How does twisting transmit torque? What do active versus passive motions mean? Conventional right red gear just rotates to transmit torque to the parallel axis of the left blue gear, as shown in this video. But the right red monopole gear can also transmit second torque to the left blue spherical gear with twisting motion as shown in this video. The yellow blinking arrow means the direction of twisting for power transmission. This animation also shows the key idea. Twisting motion of the monopole gear can transmit torque to the spherical gear, depending on pole alignment. In our visuals, red arrows represent active power transmission, while blue arrows represent passive sliding between teeth. When the poles mesh at the same point, the monopole gear can twist passively without transmitting torque. This passive behavior helps the system change orientation smoothly. If you'd like to see this principle more clearly, please check our dedicated short animations where we visualize the twisting torque transmission with red and blue arrows and the side-by-side -side CG versus real demonstrations. We also have a longer mechanism explanation video that walks through pole alignment, passive sliding, and synchronized motion step by step. All related links are in the description and the Understanding Avenix playlist. How to calculate reduction ratio? Why 247 over 36,000? First, the reduction ratio between the spherical gear and the monopole gear is two because the pitch circle diameter of the spherical gear is twice the monopole gear's pitch circle diameter. This two to one relationship ensures the poles keep meshing 
at the same point as the monopole gear completes a full rotation. Second, the monopole gear is driven by a differential unit involving an inner worm gear and a pinion gear, with additional stages such as helical gears from the motor. That's why the total reduction ratio from the motor to the spherical gear can be expressed as a combined ratio like 247 over 36,000, based on the full gear train. And importantly, the overall ratio can be redesigned depending on the torque requirements of the target application. Is torque limited? Expensive tooling? How much weight can it carry? Great questions. Torque capacity and durability depend strongly on parameters such as material, module, tooth count, and pitch circle diameter. We are evaluating strength and performance for practical loads, and we continue improving manufacturing methods and surface quality to reduce friction and increase stability. Suggestions like using metal gears or polishing 3D printed parts are very helpful, and multiple fabrication approaches, including milling and advanced 3D printing, can be considered depending on the target use case. How is the simulation done? For simulation, we conducted finite element analysis using our 3D CAD geometry. At the moment, specific software details are not disclosed because we are preparing an academic publication on the results. Thanks for all your questions and ideas. Comments like yours help us improve and explore new applications. If you have more questions, please leave a comment. And if you want the full learning path, check the Understanding Avenix playlist in the description.